did some more work on the wire harness today. I uh, straightened out these wires and put some cloth tape around it. Kind of straighten it out a little bit and then I'll put a wire loom um, over this and then support it somehow. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to support it but that is the rear wire harness and I've got some a nest egg of spaghetti here I've got to straighten out. So that ties into what was left of the burned wire harness right here pretty much. And this all comes over here, ties into that box, fuse box. Um, this wire harness was $1,200. And I ended up spending maybe 50 bucks on wires and miscellaneous things. So, a lot of time too. I put a lot of time into it the actual tracing and running of the wires it goes right here I'm gonna have to do a little more cloth tape from this point forward you can see it goes up into here that particular connector and that connector and then there's all these little connectors also that's your RPM uh, connector I'm gonna have to do some sort of a protector over that but each one of these wire harnesses are about anywhere from three to twelve hundred dollars, so I'm pretty happy I was able to repair it. This actually goes to um, an accessory wire harness that I'm not going to install. Um, this goes to the rear wiper blade, which I'm not going to install, at least not right now. got a, a part on order for for that it's a Delphi 280 series and um, just for temporary sakes I put some uh, used some female connectors which works but um, prefer to have the actual clip and this is a BICS connector 